Bienvenidos al... Hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome to LACNIC 41. First of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm Laura Kaplan. I'm the manager of uh, uh, um, development of LACNIC. It's a pleasure for me to be presenting the first sessions. Once again, we are here in a hybrid uh, format, although the uh, um, event is going to take place in person in Panama. We're also going to have uh, some people uh, remotely. Now, let me introduce uh, the year session uh, for new participants. It is It targets all the people that are participating at a LACNIC event for the first time. So to start, let me invite Ernesto Majo, Executive Assistant Executive Director of LACNIC, who will be in charge of the first part of the presentation. Good morning, everybody. This is the first activity this week. I hope you all, uh, I wish you all a very productive uh, meeting. Please come forward because uh, at the back uh, it's cold. And uh, so the closer you come uh, to the speaker, the more you're going to gain. So first of all, let me tell you what LACNIC is. You came to an event and certainly many of you may already be familiar and you may have detail, but not all of you have some relevant information for this first activity. So in this first uh, presentation, uh, what is LACNIC? Uh, the Latin American uh, uh, registry of uh, the internet addresses uh, for uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. It's changed uh, several times, the name changed several times, but basically uh, we are a non-profit um, organization recognized, acknowledged by the government of Uruguay since 2012. It uh, has its headquarters in Uruguay. And uh, we uh, um, administer the uh, um, n n the numbers of IPv4, IPv6, and uh, also the ASNs, the autonomous systems. So uh, something that we also do that. Uh, has to do with the administration of resources is the policy development process that is a key element and the activity all of you participate or, or are allowed to participate so we can all have better rules, better policies for the process of administration and assignment of resources. It's you, the community, that can start uh, the changes of uh, any aspects that you may consider relevant and uh, that uh, may be um, carried forward by uh, a policy proposal, a change, a change of uh, proposals, and uh, um, change of policy proposal. So if you consider that, that that's an asset and there's consensus in the community, and then um, and that applies to the staff. Another important activity, LACNIC as an organization is uh, so itself uh, that it had the responsibility of building a better and better capable community to face all the challenges uh, brought about by the development of internet. And in that regard, capacity building is one of the key activities of LACNIC. And finally, to that end, very often we uh, have uh, cooperation agreements. And this is a long-standing tradition from the very beginning. There were agreements uh, of cooperation 
um, with uh, sister organizations with which we collaborate. Uh, for, uh, and we have put together the House of the Internet uh, that uh, hosts uh, many organizations at our headquarters. And we have cooperation agreements with many other activities that uh, uh, work uh, for the development of funding or uh, research as a range of areas. So as I told you, LACNIC is an organization that uh, was opened in, uh, created in 2002, created with uh, our partners and members. Uh, those are the owners of uh, the organization. And at the present, we have more than 12,000. Of those, uh, those 12,000 are spread across the territories of LACNIC in the so-called coverage region. LACNIC has the responsibility of managing those the internet resources and addresses for 33 territories across Latin America and the Caribbean and from Mexico in the north and including Central America and part of uh, the Caribbean territory and in, to include all South America down to Tierra de Fuego. That is the area of coverage. So those 12,000 uh, partners are the ones that can uh, take the floor at uh, the assembly that we're going to have uh, uh, next Tuesday. So in each of these events, we have an assembly. So finally, What is the vision and the mission of LACNIC? Well, here, how do we see ourselves? Where are we going? These are very sensitive words when we work in this exercise, uh, uh, clarifying things uh, regularly every three or four years, we update our vision and our mission, these definitions. So we think of each word. So basically, I'm going to read it so as not to leave anything out, but also to emphasize some things. Basically, our vision, how do we see ourselves as an organization moving forward, is we build a regional community for a better global internet. That is, we work building that community from the region, thinking that the internet is a global process. We know that what we do has an impact on um, uh, across the world, and that is a key thing. We see it as a decisive uh, worker uh, building a community, and that community, we want it to be increasingly capable of uh, working uh, for the internet. And how do we do it? We do it through two strategies, through two processes that are basically our basic mandate that uh, created us uh, that is administering the number of resources of the internet in Latin America and the Caribbean, while uh, preserving the standards of excellence and transparency, promoting our participatory model for the development of policies. As I said earlier, the process of development of policies is one of the key activities in our organization, is uh, one that we will have at this event. and. It is the space where the community defines, agrees what uh, the rules that LACNIC has to apply and the responsibility that it has uh, for managing the uh, number of resources with excellence and transparency. And in the, the second item, this is a key part uh, of uh, the mission. And the second is leading a uh, permanent uh, um, uh, community to make this our community larger and larger, more and more powerful, and increasingly capable of uh, building and uh, developing and working for the sake of the internet. So leading the permanent construction of a regional community, strengthening the technological capacities and uh, uh, research applied to the development of a stable and open internet, those are our missions and we update them regularly every four, three or four years. And this we are now 
in the midst of a new process. So we are going to make some slight adjustments to these definitions. But in the end, this is when we think of how we are going to work in future years. And these are the key definitions that we want you to take home. LACNIC and you as a community, we are a regional community. We work for 33 territories in Latin America and the Caribbean. We are, we see to the uh, uh, well-being of those uh, uh, 33 territories and thinking that everything we do has an impact uh, at uh, a regional um, level. Thank you very much. Now, following this introduction to understand what LACNIC is about, what we do, where we are heading, and what the organization does, let me tell you more about the event as such, so that you have tools in order to browse and participate in the event in the best way possible. Ernesto was telling us that LACNIC, in addition to the very specific mission regarding the internet resources. We have a mission that is building a regional community. And this event for us is one of the main spaces in building this community because this is where we gather. This is twice a year. And this is one of the most relevant internet conferences in the region in the sense of regional relevance. This is a meeting of the technical community. community. It is in this space that we do capacity building through the tutorials we learn and we also relate with other colleagues. This space, as I was telling you, also has advanced capacity building with hands-on tutorials. We have network operators, number resources, administration. And this is also a platform where we have debates on policies the public policy forum then develops policies that become part of the manual and this has to do with regulating number resources standards regulations new technologies best practices all these are topics that have an impact on the development of the internet so Going into the event as such, if you access the website, you access the site to register, you will see this agenda. This is the structure of the agenda. This is day one, Monday the 6th, new participants, and throughout the entire day today, we'll be having tutorials. The tutorials will be taking place in the parallel rooms. You have the number of, well, you have the tutorials, and then we have another activity of another group of organizations of the technical community, which is a LAC peering forum, which had a separate um, registration. Tomorrow we'll be starting the event formally with the opening session in this very same room where we are now. And after the opening session, we have a panel, which I will be explaining what this is about in a while, and which can be of interest for those who wish to participate. And after the coffee break, we will start with LACNIC's technical forum. We will have technical presentations on different topics, as I mentioned before, on security, network operations, innovation, on different topics that are of interest for the development of the internet. On Wednesday, we have the public policy forum and the members assembly, the general assembly. On Thursday, the technical forum will continue. We'll have these technical presentations in the afternoon. We'll have a further tutorial. And on Thursday, there is an activity of CARIBNOC, which is a network operators group of the Caribbean, which will be having an activity on specific topics for their region. On Friday, we'll be closing with the working group on internet measurements. And after lunch, we'll have a session which will not be streamed virtually it will only be in person the idea is to discuss on the challenges and on specific situations regarding Panama so this is not a closed meeting for operators of panels but this is an open discussion for anyone who might wish to join us on Friday after lunch so from this entire agenda which you can access browse and check out the different activities we 
prepared a summary of some of the things that I, we suggest if you are here for the first time at a LACNIC event, we strongly recommend for you to participate in these activities. So right after this session, we'll have an interactive workshop on policies, namely how does LACNIC manage your resources and how can you influence that? There will be in room number seven. This is a very interesting activity to understand the public policy forum and many of the things that are of key importance for that process. And in addition to that, it's a very interactive session, which is very useful to then go to the forum and understand what happens there. On Tuesday, as I was saying, after the opening session, we have a panel on the role of satellite internet access and regional connectivity. This is on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have the public policy forum, which as I said, if you go to the tutorial today, will then allow you to be better prepared. This will be on Wednesday at 10.50 in this room. On Thursday, there's an interesting session for those who are interested in um, policy issues. This is a policy update on Thursday at 4.30 p.m. And on Friday, we recommend participating in the Internet Measurement Group. This is an interactive session and which is also most interesting to understand and to start delving into many of these topics. So a couple of logistics where we are. You already registered. And so that you can see the layout where you have the booths right opposite the registration area. There is where the coffee breaks will be taking place. And lunch is where you saw the tables on that same area uh, to the left. And the plenary will be along the corridor until you reach this room. Something else to take advantage of the event is the following. We're not just here to learn and to discuss, but also to meet other colleagues. We have a networking tool, which is an online tool. Here you have the list of everyone who has registered for this event. And through this tool, you can log in using the same email and the same password you use to register for this event. So using the same credentials you use for the event, you can use to access LACNIC Connecta. You can look up names of the person's name or last name or company in order to arrange a meeting in the context of this event. So this is information that you will be then receiving. They will be receiving information by email. So that is available as a tool that you can use. It's been available for a couple of days now. And also, in addition to the coffee breaks and the informal um, options, the lunch breaks, we also have the trade show with booths and uh, sponsors on different topics as well as some of the organizations on the internet ecosystem. So all these are in different booths in the trade fair. We'll have two social events. One will be this afternoon right at the end. We'll have a welcome cocktail. And on Wednesday at the end of all the sessions, we'll be traveling to the social event. As I was saying, you can also take advantage of the Connecta tool for the purpose of networking and also for those who are connected by Zoom, can connect in the Zoom events option. To finish this session, I'd like to tell you that all the activities organized at LACNIC's event are subject to the code of conduct of the LACNIC community. This code of conduct is something you should have read prior to accepting registration, the registration process, but establishes the expected behavioral framework by all the participants in our activities as well as it describing some of the behaviors that are unacceptable in our community. To understand the code of, to interpret the code of contact, we have an ethics committee made up of people from the community by LACNIC staff and the ethics committee is responsible for taking care of any situation that might have been reported. 
Let me also tell you that there is a group of trusted representatives who will be here during the event and who you can address. They have an ID in, if you wish to have more information on any of the topics, you can please address the trusted representatives. So it's important that we are all familiar with this for better coexistence to make the most of this week. So these are the trusted representatives. Ernesto Majo, who began today, is one of the trusted representatives. We have Adriana Rivero, who is also here, Kevin Swift, Paula Mansi, who's at the registration area. And then from the community, we have Leah Solis, who is over there, Max Larson. I think he won't be here this time, but Ricardo Patara will be here. I think he's not in the room now, but he will be present. So thank you very much for taking part in this session. If you have any questions, you can address anyone from of the, any other staff members. You can also go to LACNIC's booth. So you can ask us what. So to close this session, I will give the floor to Carlos Martinez, who is the technology manager of LACNIC, and now we'll be starting with the hackathon. Thank you.